Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects webinar snippet. These snippets include excerpts of webinars that are accessible by going to our website at www.performancearchitects.com and registering for our Learning Center, a community and forum for on-demand business education in the business intelligence and enterprise performance management arenas and related topics. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Um, so what is workforce planning? Well, it's a purpose-built add-on module to Hyperion planning and provides prepackaged staff compensation, budgeting, and planning logic. Uh, more specifically, uh, it calculates workforce-related expenses, which include items associated with salary, taxes, and benefits, and it does this by employee. Uh, it provides functionality to allow you to transfer um, people from department to department, it allows functionality um, to hire new people, and it integrates with the main module of Hyperion planning. So it, it integrates with essentially your, your budgeting P&L. So why do staff planning? So many organizations, staff expenses are extraordinarily volatile, um, and they make up the bulk of expenses uh, for many. Um, in addition, the tool or staff planning um, helps with resource allocation. Uh, why use workforce planning to do staff planning? Well, first, uh, it would be, it's very difficult to manage uh, this kind of data without a systems type solution. Um, it also has the um, potential to simplify the budget process. Um, the price of purchasing workforce planning can be less than building a solution yourself. Um, and the last thing is it can provide best practices and standard budgeting practices. A lot of the logic that comes with workforce planning uh, is in line with budgeting best practices uh, of workforce. So as with most, um, you know, modulized software, there's certain things it does well and there are certain things where there's limitations. So first, what it does well, um, obviously it calculates staff-related expenses. Um, it allows you to manage staff by department uh, for your budget, of course, um, and allows you to report by department, by person, and by account. Um, it excels with working with budget, your operating plan, uh, or, or with your current year projection. Um, where are the limitations? Well, it's not a human resource management system. Um, volumes of actual data, uh, especially by person, um, really don't belong in workforce planning. Um, there can be reporting limitations if you have a very large model, models where you've added dimension or, or customized things. Um, out year forecasting. Um, a lot of the formulas that come with workforce planning um, aren't written to deal with multiple years. And then again, uh, st straying from the purpose-built logic um, can require significant customization.